I am tired of random, I mean, not even random, trainer battles. You want to know why? Because off screen, all these levels rose. For, there's so much to be showed. Um, Clefairy learned nothing new, nor did Jigs. Vulpex, my friend, was like learning new everything. First off, it learned Will O Wisp, which will always burn no matter what. And then, it while in one, while during a trainer battle, it tried to learn the move Confuse Ray, but I didn't need that since I kind of already have some, since I already have something like that that can still confuse Pokemon. So that was out the way. My Nidorino learned the move Bite. Very, very, very good, which I'll take it. Um, War Turtle learned nothing new. And I believe Butterfree tried to learn. I don't know what Butterfree tried to learn. Butterfree learned nothing as well. So, yes. We have all that happening. On top of that, I got a lot of money, so I stocked up on a bunch of Super Potions and Revives. I won't regret anything. Besides all that, hey guys, it's Street Passer Danny. Welcome back to some more Pokemon Leaf Green. In the last episode, we finally got out of the rock tunnel Caught ourselves our new friend Volpex, which I just showed off, and decided elsewhere. This time in Pokemon League Green, we're gonna explore the town of Lavender a bit because we just came in and we acted like we were had nothing to do with this town. Anyway, this is the um, Pokemon Volunteer House. That's odd. Mr. Fuji isn't here. Where'd he go? This is really Mr. Fuji's house. He's really kind. He looks after abandoned and orphaned Pokemon. What a nice guy. It's so warm. Pokemon are so nice to hug. I misread that in Vararide, I guess. But still, why would you want to hug a Psyduck? Just wondering. Okay, I actually will admit, sometimes Psyduck can be cute. Um, let's see here. Pokemon Fan Magazine Monthly Grand Prize Drawing. The application form is... Gone, it's been clipped out. Somebody must have applied already. Must have been Mr. Fuji. Well, nah, that's done. We can't go south because there is a Snorlax in the way, plus with a bunch of trainers. Actually. If we go up here, I believe we get something really a little cool. Oh no. My Pokemon Ashes are stored in Pokemon Tower. You can have this TM. I don't need it anymore. We received TM27 from the little girl. It's the move return. Oh, that's pretty good. If you treat your Pokemon good, it will re return you with love by working. It's hardest in battle. That's very good. Um, I believe I want to check these binoculars. Shows Pokemon Tower. That one shows Pokemon Tower. Let's see, this one shows... There's a fishing man. Wow. Okay, so that's wrong. Really. And on Route 12, there's just like a bunch of trainers. But we will be stopped by a Snorlax, so no work, no use trying. But that's all I wanted to show, was you got a TM, and I believe I might... You know what? No, I will give that to Jigs, because Jigs has no... good attacking. Move. Like, you get the drill. And look, see? 
all my Pokemon can learn the move. Alright, there we go. Jigs, learn return. Learn return, yes. Get something you don't need. Oh. I never use Disable, so... Yeah. Even though I talked about how good it is to be in having multiplayer and sometimes single player, I just don't ever see myself using Disable that much. You guys even know, so... In return, we replaced it with... Return... <laughs> no pun intended there, guys. Now, it's time for us to finally go to... The infamous Pokemon Tower. I actually love that that one piece of work right there. So this is a grave site where people's dead Pokemon go to live in happy places. I came to pray for my dear departed Clefairy. <laughs> I am sure I wash him in tears. Did you come to pay your respect? Bless your Pokemon loving heart, girl. What? Okay, no, no, no. I get what she meant, but the reason why I said what was because the grammar. My Growlithe. Why? Did you die? Oh, okay. I am still full, young, hip, and alive. Don't know why I add that. I'm a Chancellor. There are spirits up to mischief. I sense them high in the tower. Yeah, so there's some foreshadowing. You, Pokemon Tower was erected in memory of Pokemon that died. Yep. And guess what happens when you go up? He's here. Yeah, that's that optional fight I talked about in Fire Red. He'll always be there no matter what. You do have to come here because there it's required. Trust me, this place is required. And you need to come here. So no matter what you do, he'll always be there. I'm gonna be doing two things to show off what I mean. Anyway, um Yeah, I wanna open this fight with Clefairy. Just had to think about it for a moment. The reason why I'm not fighting this guy with red is look how freaking risky that is. Like, two Pokemon against his five? Yeah, that's a really risky fight. Alright, there's no items there. Alright, let's deal with the dreaded jerk. Hey, Green! What brings you here? Is your Pokemon dead? Screw you! My Pokemon are alive, awesome, and cool. Or opposite, cute, and uh, awesome, and yeah. Hey, it's alive! At least I can make them faint. Let's go. You freaking jerk. All right, no, no, no. I'll make you eat those words. Sonic Adventure 2 line stolen. Yep, I knew it. He'd send out his Pidgeotto. And I'm equally matched. Oh, no, we're not doing this. That's right. Good, Clefairy. Destroy him. I told you to destroy him. Okay. Five seconds, I actually thought that missed. I was gonna be like, dang it, you! Oh, come on! At least this is, at least he doesn't even heal himself. Alright, good. Alright, good. Pidgeotto down and. And his next Pokemon after is Gyarados. Um... Nope, looks like Clefairy's got this one. Gyarados is supposed is the evolved form of Magikarp. Yeah, so if you can train a Magikarp, that fish useless Pokemon that you get with an old rod, you get Probably a pretty good Pokemon. Alright, let's just... Oh crap, Thrash. 
Um, what Thrash basically does is, um, it'll keep on using the move Thrash, but after three us usage, of usage of Flash, I mean, a rash. After three uses of a Thrash, automatic confusion, because, I don't know. Um, heal you up, Clefairy. Um, oh crap. No, 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 no. Um, text by my friend, by the way. Say hello. Dang it! Well, you know what? I came prepared for this fight, so it's all good. Clefairy, you serve me well. Nina let's go. Luckily, you're not part. Oh, yeah, there we go. Confusion. Nice. Did some good stalling. Alright, I want you to. It's water fighting type as well, so I can't really use double kick. Yeah, in this part of the game, in this point in the game, it's, um, water fighting, but in, in other games, it becomes, um, water dragon. Which. I don't even know how it's a fighting type in this game. Alright, Gyarados poisoned itself. That's very good. Alright! Alright, Nina Real, level 24. Here we go. Woo sends out Execute. Execute. Not Executor. Exec execute. There we go. I want to send Volt Picks out because that's pure grass right there. Murder him. Murder him. Yes. Oh, come on! <laughs> no, no, no. Wake up. Come on, wake up. Yes, yes, there we go. Murder him. Get, get, no, no, what? How? Oh, yeah, there we go. Making up for lost time. And, oh, come on. Can we send out Charmeleon so that way I can rapid spin off that? Oh, you jerk! Dang it, you should've died! Quick attack. Now, I hate the jerk of jerks. But yet, when I, when I read the comics, he's not even that bad. Um, need Arena, cause he sent me a Kadabra, and now that I know a dark type move, this fight is such a breeze. Alright, go ahead, kill it. Oh crap, no! I forgot heart poison type. But never mind, Nina Arena makes up for that. We are breezing this guy. And his last Pokemon, Charmeleon. Go, War Twortle. And geez, level level 30 War Twortle, my gosh. You can tell I did too much training. And Charmeleon hangs on with a sliver of HP. How? Alright, Smokescreen. That ain't doing much to me at all. Rapid Spin for the win. Not before you can, but first. Oh, you missed? Come on now! We're trying to kill this guy in the most stylish form- I mean, faint this guy in the most stylish form ever. Oh no, we're not doing this game! Okay, good, there you go. Die. You faint, jeez. What? You stinker! That's the greatest insult ever. Five stars, high five for the win. I took an easy on you too. That one line he says right there, that is the- I hate that line in the existence of Earth itself. That line is so annoying. I'll get into it later, but it annoys the crap out of me every time I hear someone say that. How's your Pokedex coming? I caught a Cubone! I can't find the bigger Mar the bigger Marowak. Where could they be? I bet there aren't any left. 
Well, I better get going. I've got a lot to accomplish. Unlike you, I hate you. Smell you later, stanker. Mm. Doesn't that guy always know how to make you just BS? I don't know. He just he gets he gets on me. Um. Anyways, back to that line. Actually, I'm gonna go to the Pokemon Center. And plus, we can't do really we can't really do anything here, so might as well just leave. But um, that line. I took an easy on you, or I wasn't giving it my best. I've had so many problems with that line in my life. Now, everybody's not successful. Like, everyone makes mistakes and all that, and you know, we can't always be the winner all the time. And I know that. And just in certain competitions or sports or whatever I've done, anytime I finally do good, because usually I sometimes play stuff that I'm not really good at, or, well, not good at, but like, just, you get the drill. Anytime I, I'm not really good at one thing in some sport, or I actually make a sport happen, I'm good at, and I win for once or something, or video games or whatever, I act all happy about it. You, you know, you do the natural thing, like, you know, you act all happy about it, because, you know, sweet, I just did this one thing that nobody else, well, not, not, not everyone else know how to do, but I finally accomplished what I believe to me is good. And I didn't do it through the rights of cheating, like, or being a fake or poor sport or anything. I played fairly. And then there's that one person who will not let it go, and he'll be all like, I wasn't going, I was just going easy on you. And I swear that line aches me to death. And yes, I'm still going to be hearing that line the minute I go, go to high school. Crap, it's going to be annoying. Um, that other entrance over there, that's another entrance to Saffron City, which we cannot go through at all. And jeez, this underground path is long. No, no! Alright, um, besides that rant, um, let's talk to you. I heard a sleepy Pokemon appears out near Celdon Pokemon- Celdon City, too. That's a Snorlax, by the way. And here's the, um... The east entrance to Saffron City. That other entrance we just went to was the west. Besides all that, let us move on. To good old Celadon City. We've already listened to the music of Celadon City. Um, so yeah. First thing we want to do is go to the, the Celadon Mansion. Finally. Got it correct. Um, watch Fire Red for you to understand a lot of things. You shouldn't spend all your money on drinks. Try this instead. She thinks I'm like some adult. Here, we obtain the tea. The tea is very important. Nothing beats thirst like some hot tea. It's really, it really is the best. And there's like a bunch of Pokemon, two of them which I own. But yeah, T will allow you to go to um, Saffron City. In fact, I will show you to prove you that it's true. I don't know why I'm making such a big deal out of it. But before we do that, first down here, get a wheat, a wheat pear berry. That's the most weirdest berry name ever. Anyway, talk to this guy. I mean, just walk there, and he goes, "Oh, that T." It looks awfully tasty. Uh, I can have this drink? Gee, thanks, kid, out of nowhere. I don't even want to do that part. If you want to go to Saffron City, because you were so nice, you can go through. I'll share this tea with the other guards. So, yep, now all the other entrances are open. And also that tea, I believe... I mean, I can find it. Oh no, he takes it! Dang it! I was gonna say, that T become... It actually does another secondary effect. Well, here we are in Saffron City. And of course, there's a rocket in this station here as along as well. 
Um, there are two gyms in Saffron City. I ain't, I'm not really gonna be messing with Saffron City yet. I'm just showing it that it's here. Um, in fact, I need to look at my map, because I believe we can go somewhere with this. Because now, I believe, now that we're in Saffron City, which is like the middle of everything, we can go to four towns now. We got Celadon City, where we probably need to go. We got Cerulean City, which is just up ahead. We have Vermilion right there. And we also got Lavender Town. So yep, this opens up a lot for you. But I'm gonna go back to Celadon City, so I'll meet you guys there. Alright, now that we are back in Celadon City, one more thing I really want to do before I end the video off, because the video is getting way too long. Thanks, Blue! Um, is, well, first, head all the way down to the left right here, and you get yourself an ether. Then, you want to head to the back entrance of the po the Cer Celadon Mansion. Jesus! You know what? No. It's time to show this off, because you're gonna understand I'm gonna have problems saying this. Town map. Thank you. On Cinnabar Island, Pokemon Mansion. That's why I get so confused. I won't tell you what the Pokemon Mansion is, but I just get so confused because of it. We will go there later when the game progresses. Oh, and by the way, you can take on the Saffron Gym if you want to. So that means you have about two gyms you can do right now. I also believe you can go through... If you have a bike... Yeah, in fact, let me just check. No, wait, we can't. We gotta, we gotta um, do Pokemon Tower. I forgot. There we go. Anyway, this is the, um, the Know Everything building. There is nothing that I don't know, like I wrote on the blackboard. I know about the world of Pokemon in your Game Boy Advance. Dude, you live in the world of Pokemon. And first, and second of all, fourth wall breaking. Get together with your friends and enjoy trading. And talk to this po talk to this Pokeball right here, and you get yourself the Pokemon Eevee. Now, Eevee, I'm not using that on my team at all, nor for Fire Red as well. But I will say, in the um, mangas, Red does have an Eevee. But, okay, Red ha potentially, potentially has seven Pokemon. But the Eevee is not going to be on my team. Um, that Eevee's bio, I will show that off as well. Um... Yeah, Eevee... Jeez. I don't know where to start this. Alright, now, here we go. Eevee's bio, here we go! Now, Eevee here has, as you see, three evolutions with three stones, of course. Rule number one about using Eevee, never make it a Flareon. Trust me, it becomes a chore to do because of just how its stats don't work. And, like... Most of the moves it usually gets, you probably need TMs, because you'll find better. But, trust me, just don't use Flareon, even though I know my friend used it and beat the game with it. He still had a challenge, though, but he made it through. Just don't use Flareon if you want, unless you know how to use it. That's all I can say. Other than that, Jolteon's pretty fast and learns some great moves as well. And everyone ends up choosing Vaporeon because of the great stats and moves it gets as well. Pretty much your choice there, and its ability, Run Away, one of my favorites of that movie, lets you escape any battle. Have fun with it, but just, if you want to get Flare on, you better know what you're doing. And now that you know what Eevee's bio is all about, and what Eevee is, and what you should not do with Eevee, next time on Pokemon Fire Red, we explore more of... Celadon City and find out why there are rocket grunts all over the place. I will see you guys... Then.